Look, they got the spirit writing free gift set. That's so cute. Do you want me to get the hurt ones as well? Because you really like them. Over here want me to get the arena in the barn. I don't have as much money. I can get them for Christmas. Thank you for carrying my boxes. <laughs> that one's super cute. Gosh, I like the black one. He's pretty fancy. She's pretty. I think I saw a cowboy over here. Farm world. <laughs> Clearance chickens. Are you sure we can't get a chicken? Think I'm coming back. Don't hold your breath. I ain't your mister. No. Cause I'm breaking up with you. Hey y'all, it's Infinity Briars here. And in today's video, I am going to be unboxing the two new tractor supply ponies, Jasper and Boone. And then also I have some schlakes that I'm gonna be unboxing because I spent a lot more than I meant to at Tractor Supply. My mom was telling me that I should buy some schlakes. So here is the stack of ponies that I get to unbox. So first up I have a like a little vet kit. As you see it's got a little mare full. Super cute. My mom really liked that one. And then here we have a Schlake Appaloosa family. It's got the dad, mom, and the baby. And then I have Boone, the new Tractor Supply exclusive Briar Horse. He's super adorable. And then lastly I have Jasper, which is the other exclusive Tractor Supply pony. And he's such a pretty bay. Oh my god, I cannot wait to unbox them so let's do this okay I'm gonna be kind of going in order like how you just saw so first up we're gonna be starting with the adorable Marinful little vet kit oh something fell apples so first up we got some apples they feel really rubbery and then in here you have a little tiny shot which you're not gonna be able to see from over here well you might but I don't really know a tiny stethoscope a little itty bitty vet little box to put everything in a super adorable tiny little foal with a little vet wrap that can come off and go on any leg and then lastly the foal's adorable mom! Oh my god, she's beautiful! I love her little braid that she has. That's so cute! So here is a close-up of this adorable little Schlake set. So here is the amazing little mare. She is so cute. I love her color more than anything. And I really like that they gave her a blue and a little red piece in her mane. That's just so cute! And here is the tiny little first aid kit that you get and it opens up so you can take your itty bitty little shot. Look at how small that is, oh my gosh. And toss it in there. And then you also get a tiny stethoscope to check up on your pony. You can just go, are you doing good, man? Are you doing good? There you go, oh, I knocked you over, I'm so sorry. And then you get apples because your poor little baby full is injured, how sad, oh my gosh. But then you take it off and he's all better, oh my God. Oh, he tackled his mom, that's sad. Oh, she's falling all over the place. So, oh wow, he just did a flip. This is a really fun set, and I think Schlake did an amazing job, and he's got his foot in the bucket now. This guy is just, he's got a mind of his own, man. That's what foals do. Oh my god, that face. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna be unboxing the little Appaloosa family, and I'm not entirely sure how you open this. Maybe you just open it from here. Like, is it like one of those soda things? How do you open this? Oh, you can open it from the top. Duh, I knew that. Wow, I was trying to make life difficult. So there is apparently a lot that, wow, that comes in this set because it shows it all on the back. So first up, we've got the tiny little adorable Appaloosa full who I will be pulling out here in a second and all of this will be in a little close-up video in a second. Here is the adorable jump. I don't know, I think this is the mom, the mom Appaloosa, she's super cute. Here's the little accessory, so you get a trophy, some apples, and a little basket to put the apples in. Some fencing, so you can make sure your ponies don't run away. And then lastly, you've got the Appaloosa dad, who is so pretty. All right, now it's time to open these guys. I have to do this on the ground because they're just so small. So here is the adorable little foal. And his super cute little Appaloosa bottom. That is so adorable. Let's open up his mom. I think this one was his mom. And here's his mom. That is so cute. He kind of has more of his mom's color because he's got a little blanket just like she does. Oh, they're so cute together. But wait, the family's not complete until they get their dad. It was taped to another bag. 
Oh my god, he is adorable. Look at him. He is a, I believe, a leopard Appaloosa, and he is so cute. I love Appaloosas so much, so this family is amazing to me. Let's open up all their accessories. Okay, so this family does come with four pieces of fencing. These fences are super convenient so that your ponies don't run away, and also they connect together like so, so they're really easy to put together. And look at this. You can form a little corral around them. Oh, they got move a little bit. You can corral them in so that they can just spend the night in a pasture. Oh, they're so cute. Not only are they really adorable Appaloosas, but they're also jumping Appaloosas. They come with this really fancy purple fence, which has turquoise and purple poles. So let's go ahead and build this jump. So to build this, you slide the standards in to, oh God, <laughs> wow, that takes a little bit of muscle, but you slide your standards into the base piece so that they don't get lost. And then once they're in, you do have these adorable little flags. I can't remember if the white goes on the left or the right, so we're just gonna put them like this. And then to finish it off, you have poles that actually come out of the jump cups, which is super cool, so you can choose what fence height you want. Oh, I can totally jump that. <laughs> that fence ain't got nothing on me. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. But that's not it because you also get this tiny bag of accessories. So in this tiny bag of accessories, you get a fancy little bucket that can actually clip onto the fence, which can hold the apples in it. And then once you've got your apples in your adorable tiny little basket, you can hook it onto the fence so your ponies can have apples whenever they want. That's so amazing. And then the very last accessory you get in the set is a trophy that does have a horse head top which your ponies can win in jumping competitions that is so cute all right now we're gonna be unboxing the adorable boo now I know a lot of people are only going for Jasper but he is super cute and I think that if you are on the fence about getting him go ahead and pick him up because he's so adorable and also paints are amazing so here he is kind of out of his box so far and oh my god look at that color so here he is all free and look at that face. He looks so done with life. Oh, that's so funny. He's so adorable. I am in love with his color. Look at that little dorsal stripe. So here's an adorable fancy little close up of Boone. And as you can tell, his color is so cute. And there's his dorsal stripe. And his mane is such a pretty color. Look at that. I love his face marking too. That's so cute. And I just love that he's got one ear back. Like he's like, oh my God, I hate my life. And you can kind of tell that he does have leg bars which is super fancy and he does have one little sock okay last up on the unboxing list is Jasper and this guy is so cute this is gonna be the one that most people are going for because he's on a popular mold which I don't remember the name of and also he is such a pretty bay look at him here he is kind of out of his box let go thank you that was not that hard she's so pretty Look at his color. It's so rich. So here's a close-up of Jasper and you can just tell how rich his color is like look at that That is amazing like up on his back is super dark and then it goes really light to his stomach I think that's so cool And then he's got a little star and a snip on his nose, which is so adorable I know that some people have found Jasper's with a star like over to the side So there's a lot of variation with his facial markings, which I think is super awesome And he is the opposite of Boone where one of his legs actually actually does not have a sock and the other three do, which is kind of funny. I like that they're opposite. All right, y'all, so that's actually gonna be the end of this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please remember to slap the like button as hard as you possibly can to show this video a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars, where you'll see photos of these two cuties and the schleich, because those guys are adorable. Also, if you have a local tractor supply, I really recommend picking these guys up. I know not a lot of tractor supplies carry briar horses, but I know that more are now, and these guys are amazing. Briar did such a good job on these two. They're so cute. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. But I'm weak.
It's not even October yet. Are you kidding me? It does not need to be October for you to start decorating for Halloween. As soon as it's the first day of fall, it's acceptable. I cannot believe you. As soon as I start putting out decorations for Christmas, you get really offended. So how does that make any sense? The reason I get offended is because you start decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving. At least give the turkeys a chance. Oh, forgive me. I didn't know there were specific times to decorate at. Well, you should have known because it is definitely implied. Let's ask them in and see what they think, gladly. Excuse me, y'all, do you think it's acceptable to start decorating for Halloween right now? Is that even a question? It's always acceptable to start decorating for Halloween right now. No, it's not acceptable to start now, but I just don't wanna fight him, so I just let him go and let him decorate. Okay, well, when do you think it's acceptable to decorate for Christmas? As soon as Halloween is over. Oh, I dropped my hat. Jenna, oh, you decorate for Christmas after Thanksgiving. Why would you decorate after Halloween? You don't even give Thanksgiving a chance. I told you so. I have no idea what any of these holidays are. I am very excited to find out. Well, Christmas is the best holiday ever. I love decorating for it. That's why I decorate so early. We're not doing that this year, Jedi. We're decorating in a normal time like normal horses. Eh, did I tell you so or did I tell you so? Yeah, you told me so. Now can we leave? Because I'm sick of this argument. Fine, I guess we can leave. I was having fun though. Of course you were. 